really exciting for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great mark in my career. Uh, we know many big names came through F3 and after that they succeeded in Formula 1. So I'm pretty sure I'm succeeding in this step. It's going to make me learn all this experience that F3 gives for the drivers. And um, I'm going to take it forward and uh, hopefully uh, I can make it to Formula 1. Uh, it's another great one, it would be a great experience for me in my career as well, driving these this different cars, because I've been used to, to former cars for at least three or four years already, so it's going to be a di completely different thing for me, but uh, uh, it will be very interesting for me to learn uh, how to work with a car like that. And, uh, everything around being Daytona as well in a different track and uh, will be great, it will be great. Uh, it makes you think a lot during the race because um, sometimes when you're not in the lead and uh, you, you just keep the gap for the car in, car in front and try to make a faster slide which, which provides you more points in the challenge, in the Sunoco challenge and also an extra point in the F3 race, so, uh, which is good for both. Um, I think, I think it, it can help as a, as a, I mean, uh, seeing an F3 driver doing well maybe in Daytona that's 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 a good thing. I mean, you know, you never as a as a new driver coming over from the F3 and making good good results over there. That that should be nice. And uh, but the goal is to get in Formula One, and uh, we we'll keep doing our job to get in there. So.